Santa Fe is so rich in history. The many cultures, the art, the architecture, outlaws, the railroad, Harvey girls. You could spend a lifetime here and still not learn everything that there is. You've got Native American history, Spanish history, you've got Wild West history. No matter what your interest is, you'll find something to explore here and become enchanted by. It's kind of like that movie Casablanca. Everybody comes to Santa Fe. The history in Santa Fe is easily accessible, even to the first-time visitor. You'll see plaques on some of the historic buildings, but even better than that is the bounty of historical walks and tours. The oldest house dates back to 1200 AD. In other words, it was a Native American house. And when the Spaniards first got here, across the street, that's where they built the oldest church. In 1609, Pedro de Peralta received orders to establish a colony right here in Santa Fe on this spot and began building the Palace of the Governors. Since then, it's housed Spanish governors, Mexican governors, U.S. governors, and in 1909 became the state's first museum. Ancient historians would put, all roads lead to Rome. Well, here in the Southwest, all roads lead to Santa Fe. And right there at that marker, that's where the Santa Fe Trail, the journey commenced, the journey ended. 109 East Palace Avenue was the portal to the Manhattan Project. And what they were doing was they were bringing in technicians and scientists and they get vetted inside there. That's the open sesame for the Manhattan Project. The buildings in Santa Fe are based upon a historic precedent of long and low adobe huts. When we were trying to become a state, the federal government looked at us and they said, hmm, United States of America, mm, I don't think so. And so for decades, we tried to look American. And as soon as we looked American, we looked around Santa Fe and we said, what have we done? And we immediately started developing the Santa Fe style. As an architectural historian, I love the fact that our architecture is based in these deep roots. What I find most interesting about history in Santa Fe is how it's still here. You see it in the architecture. You can walk around and hear so many languages. I've met so many interesting people here. It's like a dry dock ship goes all around the world because the world all comes to Santa Fe.